We have no records of Malinche in her own voice. We have no words, no writings attributed to her. But she is a protagonist in this narrative. So the Denver Art Museum exhibition has been in production for about six years. My co-curator, Teresita Romo, she wrote an essay in 1999 titled Malinche as Metaphor, where she looked at these different identities that have become metaphors for Malinche. She wanted to turn her essay into an exhibition and really expand it. Malinche, who is known by many names, was a young girl between the ages of 11 and 16 at the moment that the Spanish arrive in Mexico. And she was kidnapped at a very young age. We know that she knew at least three languages at the time that she's gifted to Cortez. It became evident very quickly that this young girl spoke three indigenous languages, and they could create a translation chain. She accompanies Cortez for the next 30 months of the campaign because of her knowledge of Nahuatl, but also of indigenous etiquette. She's able to broker alliances, and that's how she becomes one of the Spanish fiercest and most powerful allies. And her name becomes a slur. To be a Malinchista is to be a traitor to your own. This term Malinchista or Malinche crosses the border and becomes used among Chicano communities here, right? So women that defied expectations of their communities, say they went on to graduate school, they didn't get married, they chose not to have children, they identified as queer, they were called Malinches. So in the 1970s, there is a movement, especially by Chicana poets, to reclaim her story and reclaim her legacy for themselves. They see themselves reflected in her story, a woman caught between worlds. Our exhibition really offers a historical lens on the many different faces of Malinche. The show follows the blueprint of the essay. We showcase five different identities associated with Malinche, from la lengua to indígena, or indigenous woman, madre de mestizaje, or mother of a mixed race, traitor, and finally, chicana, or contemporary reclamations. We chose deliberately in our exhibition to present works from across five centuries. It's not a chronological order. We really wanted to mix works from different periods to show the longevity of so many of these metaphors, and in some cases, their pernicious effects. We've been, always been really clear that we're 100% Team Malinche. We offer a very positive reading and reinterpretation of her life story based on these historical fragments, and I hope that visitors who go through the whole show will leave with this renewed understanding of the challenges that we still have towards indigenous women, towards Latina women, you know, how histories are told through other voices and how important it is that we be responsible for authoring our own story.